There is more than meets the eye with the terms El, translated into English as God, Yahweh, translated as the Lord, and Elohim, also translated as God. Today, these terms are all equated. Most people accept these meanings without looking for the meaning themselves, which is a monumental mistake. The Hebrew word Elohim means the God of Gods, not of man. Elohim is often used as part of some compound titles for God in the Hebrew text, not originally Hebrew or even unique to God. We are told, but do we listen? Listen carefully. The term is found much earlier in history. El officially meaning mighty or strong one. The word Elohim or Elohim is a grammatically plural noun for gods or deities or various other words in Biblical Hebrew. Im from Mamatim is plural, which in turn is derived from Malachi. Akai is also plural, in turn a variation of Anunnaki. The component Im refers to clay tablets. For example, Im do good, which officially means to be defined to be cognate with I am. The meaning I rendered from the language was, the god of the illustrious mound is in the clay tablets, and that would be Zu. Imdugud is Anzu's alternative name. Zu stole the role of Bel and became the god of gods. Imdugud to be defined, Elohim yet to be defined. The word Elohim is sometimes specifically used for people. When used for God, it underlines his dominance and power over creation, particularly mankind. It often stresses a degree of separation and distance between God and man. Aka. The Sumerian Akkadian version of El is most certainly Al, and also possibly Il and Ul. Al Al is the temptation demon of Babylon. And, as mentioned, Zu, the distant one, the divine storm bird, Mamu, aka Imdugud, aka a variant of Ak, to make plural, became the god of gods. They all fall from Mamu, and Zu, Imdugud to be defined, over and over again, which in turn created the Pantheon. The New Oracle Stressing a degree of separation and distance between God and man, Zu became the God of Gods, which gave him the ability to write commandments. Anzu can also mean heaven wisdom. It is the gatekeeper and voice of God. Let's just agree that all of this is merely incredibly familiar. The Sumerian word for Yahweh, Lord, is En, meaning Lord also means in, into, flee, infect, 
in the MSL language, Mumu. Yes, my dear friends, if you worship the Lord, you worship Mumu. You worship and do good. You worship and zoo. Heaven wisdom. Yes, that would mean the Bible. Hebrew is ultimately derived from Sumerian, but there is no L in Sumerian or Akkadian. The vowels are interchangeable, therefore we are examining Al, Il, and Ul. Here I will help you visually, but I'd like you to make a mental picture of the character the words describe. Al, Nishal, digging stick, wooden mattock, pickaxe, a forked hoe, with two to four teeth, spade, death from the spear of destiny. Al, a verbal prefix, very similar to Al, which indicates one, distance, two, the speaker is not involved or three, the lack of a transitive relationship. Remember Elohim often stresses a degree of separation and distance between God and man. You are told, but do you listen? Put those two together, we get Al Al, and a description which would align with its character, the event horizon. The Cataclysm, which would also relate to Il, Ila, Ili, Ila, Ila, A. Somebody better get her an umbrella. Ila, Ili, Il, meaning carrier, to lift, to carry, to deliver, to bring, to endure, to support to carry forward, to be high, to shine, to rise, to get up. And again, all refers to ill and al. Joy, pleasure, satisfaction. Because some people revel in death. When there is blood on the ground, the land goes cheap. All also meaning star, flower, bud, ornament, to glitter or shine. I remind you once more, Elohim often stresses a degree of separation and distance between God and man, and the adjectives of all are remote, distant, in time, ancient, enduring. And the conclusion can only be that there is no real change between El, Al, Il, and All. Therefore El is derived from Al, Il, or All. More than likely a combination of the three. There is also All, Ulu, to be quick, to hurry, hasten, Harass. The Anzu bird granted the Lugal Banda lightning speed, and all can refer to a god, an officer, judge, or anything similar. For example, the angel of the Lord. I think you'll agree that the picture the information paints points to the so called hand of God. To finish off here, the variation of the term Gala Demon contain Al and Ol, Gala, Gula, having the same meaning as Ol, meaning police chief or a demon. We are told, but do we listen? Among other things, Gala can mean the great curse. 
The Isegala is the house that rises its head, and here they taught the ignorant, which can have a double meaning. What I mean is they taught ignorance. They taught the innocent to be ignorant, using the word. The true ignorance is that the demons are worshipped by the nobility, and their bright counterparts were produced for the people. And this is how they taught the innocent to be ignorant. <laughs>